So, recently, there was a great video that was done by Sayjam about how to use um, Drive Rush and Drive Parry more effectively, or like just the best ways to use it, more or less. So, I just thought the um, best way to check it out is to obviously go to his channel and watch the video. I'll have it linked. Because it is a really, it is a helpful video and it's very short and sweet. The the utilization of being able to use drive rush in a way that isn't just react to the other persons. There are other ways to use it that could be more effective in gameplay. Like I'll use an example of Kimberly. It's like let's say she's doing slide. The the further away she is, um, the more plus things will be. Or I guess more safe it'll be. So like if she's really up close to me right here, she's minus 12. And like the later she hits on it, she will be less and less minus right there. She's minus one. But a, a way to deal with this so you don't have to really eat it, which I found out, is reacting to it or using drive impact as kind of a defensive tool. It'd be in your best interest to use this to moves that are like non-cancelable into drive rush or on special moves. If you are late on uh, on it, they can still counter you. But like, you can react to this pretty late. Like, you can do a like late. You can do your impact like pretty much near the end of her slide. And it's a full punish counter confirm. Yeah, it's more of a safer option. If you are using Drive Impact, the one thing with Drive Impact that could be a problem is is they could counter it with their own if you are too slow. Just like that. If you're too slow, you could get countered. It, it could be a good way to deal with buttons too. Or certain meaty situations, more or less. I'll, ta I'll talk a little bit about that later, but uh, using Drive Impact as a way of means to kind of stop advances as well as moves that aren't special cancelable. It, it, it's a little bit more risky, but the reward for it is a full combo that is unscaled. That's probably one of the, one of the positives about it is the, the damage on it is practically unscaled. Another thing to use is parry. Oh, I didn't mean a perfect parry immediately. Parry. Parry is very similar to block. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. It's very similar to block. It, it can give more or less a frame or two more. But like for max, like right there, max distance, it, she's still minus one as if I were to block for max distance. There's, there's things you could do with parry. It's very similar to block. It doesn't really change frames. It's just you get the advantage of getting meter your drive gauge back passively. Obviously, if you are preemptively parrying a good throw, it'll fuck you up. So on like a lot of setups, uh, parry is just a good safe option to use. Let's say she were to hit me with a hard knockdown. And I have to guess between her overhead or her low. Which I don't know how plus her low on hit is. Plus nine. So let's say I have to guess between the two. Parry will beat both options, more or less. The parry will beat both options pretty easily. The only downside of it is if they know you're going to parry, they can just bait it out. And you will eat a full punish counter. And then you also lose meter from the interaction. So it's good to use parry as a way to beat certain options that your opponent has. A great example is... Now, I don't know any jury mess. I don't know. Oh, it might be a heavy kick. Uh, a mix-up that Jerry can do very well, and it's a it's a safe jump, so she can either hit you with the overhead option or the low option, and a way to deal with it uh, instead of um, wanting to deal with all that uh, 
that like let's say you get hit and you hit with this mix up. Harry covers all options. No matter what. You know when you have to perfect parry it or nothing. But parry beats both options well to where yeah, it's just an auto block. Um, parry is just really good for situations like this to where it becomes a, a great defensive option to auto block certain incoming uh, situations. You just have to be mindful of the 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 only risk that you're taking is just worrying about getting grabbed, and then you're put in this situation where you don't want to be in. And it's obviously an excellent thing to use to deal with projectiles. The only thing that can be a little scary if someone's doing projectiles, someone like Jerry. If she does that and you parry, she can go in and throw you if she wanted to. Like if you're preemptively holding parry, someone could just do something like that. But it's good to like maybe walk into it and eat it early. Um, there's less that they could do out of it. Because I could do something like that. It, it, parry is such a good thing to use in neutral. Uh, parry is good to use on jumps as well. It can help deal with cross-ups, which um, can be sometimes a little hard to uh, to anticipate coming. So using uh, parry in that situation can also be really helpful. Manon gets a command grab. And her main uh, meaty setup is this. If she were to do this mix-up on you, um, you can actually wake up DI. It's actually never a bad idea. If she were to hit you with the overhead, she can't DI out of it since it's a special move. She gets it like late like that. So if she is to hit you with this and were to do a meaty button or her uh, one of her main meaty moves, because she can use heavy kick and um, the overhead kick. Uh, it's very DI-able, so... There's nothing she could do about it. The only thing she can do about it is starting to respect the option. Like, if she thinks you're going to wake up DI, she can just do... Just like that. Dealing with certain options, like... Manon's um, overhead kick as well as her stand heavy kick. DI is your best friend. And just utilizing drive rush or drive impact in a way to force your opponent to adapt or adjust to these uh, options. Honda. Now he has this beautiful thing called Sumo Headbutt. Honda has a lot of things that you can do out of headbutt, like heavy headbutt, and if you try to press something, he can punish counter. If you think you have a button that can deal with it as well, you can butt slam. So like, he has a lot of options to be an, a little annoying fucker. Now, Harry and Honda is going to make what uh, kind of makes a difference. If you are to parry it, you can most of the time hit him. Um, hit him, but sometimes, like you're seeing, you'll trade. A thing to learn is how to perfect parry. Perfect parry is such a useful thing in so many situations because it can help deal with stuff like this. And perfect parrying is really hard. So it, it does take uh, practice or just to realize when the hit is gonna happen. But like per perfect parrying against Honda is like your best friend. But the scaling is pretty bad. Now you're probably asking, why can't you just drive reverse it? But you can do if you are quick enough. Sadly, about Honda, I don't know if I can time it. If you are to hit him late, it's a risk because he can he can hit you back. Now, if he's doing it from full screen and he's doing something like that, I would recommend doing 
drive impact. If he's closer, you have to anticipate it, because reacting to it is really hard. And if you're just a tad too slow, he gets a full punish. Now, a lot of Honda players don't know combos. If I were to do it late, then he gets a full, like that. Most Honda players aren't gonna know what the fuck they're doing. But learning perfect parry could be beating someone like a Honda who spams headbutt constantly. Your parry is overall, parry is a safer option, but it doesn't really offer you too much you can do out of it because it can like give you a frame or two sometimes. Perfect parrying takes a lot of dedication as well as skill. Let's say you could do something like that where you have something that you're like minus one or minus two in and if they were to do a fast button you um you can punish them for just doing a poke so it, you can utilize it in so many ways in offensive ways in so many ways another character is marissa she has superman punch if they are trying to close distance you can drive uh, drive impact even if she does the fast one and then drive rushes, you have to hit really late for it to, to matter. There's also other ways to deal with it, like using uh, a button to stuff it. But like, this puts you in such a situation that it's just, uh, why not? You could also be the kind of person to perfect parry to style on them maybe. I wouldn't recommend like parrying something like this because it is a little hard to perfect parry and you lose out on a lot of damage. A thing that she also has is Gladius where normal it's just uh, it, it, it's a basic move so she were to Gladius you can drive impact it but if she charges it it becomes fucking terrifying. It breaks armor. She only has one hit. So if they're like doing it from close, you can mash her out of it. Like parry doesn't really change anything because you're still minus in a sense. But perfect parrying could have them use the regular one more, which isn't at, she's minus five compared to plus four. So force them to deal with an, uh, the option of I might not charge this because I'm scared of this person perfect pairing and full combo punishing me. Learning to use both in very dish situations and when to use them is going to be your best friend in every way. That's all I really have to say except um, thank you to anyone that's uh, supportive of my content and everything that I do. Um, if you don't want to miss my YouTube or my Twitch or follow any of my socials, I have them on my Twitch as well as my YouTube. Um, don't, if you don't want to miss a video on there, don't be afraid to subscribe, ring the bell, and leave a like on it. Just so we get more viewership and um, in the algorithm a little bit more. Um, other than that... Um, I appreciate everyone that was here to watch and uh, help as much as I can to everyone. And that, uh, have fun in your ranked games and don't be afraid to be a little wild sometimes.